Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play City Skyline. So we are back and uh, our city was doing really well before and we actually uh, were able to level up again which was pretty awesome. And uh, we finally hit the uh, the, the small city, uh, the big town, there you go. And we got more plots, uh, or another plot we can get. Um, but the, the, the nice thing was the um, got a lot of new services, things like that. But we got the high density residential, commercial, and office, which is going to be a big deal. And I think it's going to be important for us to even work off of. So to basically get something worthwhile out of this, I'm going to have to change a few things here. I'm going to probably have to flatten this down, unfortunately, which is going to get pretty taxing and pretty costly. I actually don't even know how we're going to be able to do it really well because this is pretty high up. The only thing is I could probably build another highway or something up here and then let the residential kind of come from here. That might be the way to do it. Just take this highway, bring it over here, and then move those guys around. I did have another idea, though. Um, mm. The other idea was I can bring the residential and bring it up here, but I kind of like doing it over here I think now I think about it just because it's really flat over here and it can make an interesting design and I can do something over here but also connect it down here and then instead of everyone going up and down here they'll go from here and then they, they yeah they'll just kind of go in a big circle probably so we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes anyways and uh, hope for the best over time apparently there's a really big fire here <laughs> Wait, so they're actually stuck, kind of? It's a bit lame. I didn't realize they had to go all the way around to do like a U-turn. City's already burnt down by the time they're finished. Oh no. Um, this fire is actually a bit out of control, oddly enough. Uh, we might need another fire department in here. Uh, let's see, emergency services. So this is your normal fire department. It's pretty high fire risk up here. Yet you do have a fire thing up here, but it's not working so well right now. Um, do we have a fire services here? No, but if we do put this in here, um, it'll get over here a bit easier though. So I think it's time we get a new one up here. And hopefully you send out all your fire trucks. It's like, ah, eh, we don't need any. Let them burn. Yeah, I'm a little surprised by the fire trucks not wanting to go out here. I think maybe they can't. Okay, we better bring this into a more appropriate area. So things are not going so well for us all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, let's see here. There's the fire hall over here. I guess we could bring a new one over here somewhere. Oh, you though, you probably want to bring it over here so it's around the main thing properly. There you go. Okay. And it has no power. Which, that's a pity. There you go, we'll just put it from here to here. Do you have water? Okay. Apparently it just isn't needed right now, apparently. <laughs> okay. Yeah, eventually you can get like a fire, uh, like something for them to fly around. I don't know if this one can fly, but. Huh. Oh, here it is. Firecopter Depot. Oh, and they require... Okay. Okay, go away, you stupid things. Okay, so this has n very little upkeep. This has a lot of upkeep, but you can put one of these around. So you can do... You can put, like, a tower here, for example, which really covers everything. There you go. And then what you can do is you can do a helipad here, a big one. And basically, this should be what you use to deal with your fires hopefully um i want to get it over here i think but we'll just put it oh i see it's it's like a long kind of uh too steep okay we'll put it over here then
There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, they need water. How are you guys even flying out and gonna put... <laughs> it's like, how are you guys gonna do it without water now? Okay, there you go. So, there you go. Three copters out, and they're gonna start doing their... Probably their thingy here. Oh, here they are. There you go. That's much better. Now, I wonder what happens when the uh, thing gets out of the range. Will it not work anymore, or... I might put another one up here somewhere, then. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of too bad, though. We, we kind of burnt down a, a big chunk of our area. Look at the land. That people got happy for that. <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of deaths uh, recently. Might be a death boom or a death wave, I think they call it, people call it. So we're going to have to deal with that as well. So death care. Um, do we have crematoriums yet? No, we still haven't reached the crematoriums. So what you're going to need is more cemeteries, basically. So we have a cemetery, right? Yeah, it's one's down there, but we need a new one. Probably something like over here, so it just works a bit better. So this is a little too steep over here. There you go. That should work. And you should have whatever you need. Yeah, there you go. And you need some water. Okay. There you go. I'm talking about water. How is our water? Water's doing good. How's our electricity? Electricity is doing okay as well. Okay. So hopefully these guys will get picked up soon and I'll fix all the death over here. And yeah, so the fire is pretty much out. I can hear the helicopters coming in, so they're finishing up their touch ups. There we go. And there we go. That's it. Our fire is out. Made a hell of a mess. I'm assuming eventually it'll probably clean up, but I really don't know how that works, so um, I'm not actually sure how that cleanup works over time, to be honest. I guess you could par uh, park, I was going to say, yeah, you could park somewhere. I guess you could probably put in some trees and things like that yourself over time. So some nice oak trees and I wonder if there's like a paintbrush for this or it's just more like. Oh, is the land really like gone? Well, that's cool. Depending on the thing, it depends on what they look like. So the land itself has gone kind of eh. I wonder how you fix that. I wonder if it's just one of those things that fix over time, or... I'm just putting some vegetation around anyways. I don't think this is actually affecting anybody's happiness, so... Get some big oak trees in here. I say big, but they are pretty small looking. There you go. Well, yeah, we'll have to see what happens over time if this just dissipates or something, or... Man, that was a really big burn area. But hey, we kind of pretty much saved uh, the area, which was awesome, so... Okay, new building. What is the new building? Oh, an incineration plant. Oh, that's good because we're gonna have to use those. Uh, so yeah, an incineration plant. We have those now. Um, one, two, three, four, and it'll provide uh, your your electricity grid as well over time. So because uh, they they incinerate and they, yeah, works out that way. Okay. Oh yeah, they do provide power, but are they touching the, uh, yeah, they, eh, I don't know if they are actually, there you go. That should touch the power grid now. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Here I was hoping, uh, I could work on some other stuff, but I ended up getting pretty distracted there, but, uh, yeah, that should work. Now it's almost too dark to even work at night. Look how dark it is in this rain. Pretty cool, actually. So it's talking about probably new transit opportunities. 
How's our education going? So our education isn't too terrible, actually, which is kind of cool. How's the high school? High school not doing so well. Um, capacity. So we don't have really the best capacity for the high schools. So um, if we want to kind of fix that, we probably need to put a, another high school in. And that should hopefully uh, help educate people over time. Are we actually finally hitting a power uh, grid issue here? Yeah, we are. Cool. It's about time we did something like that. So, uh, for power, we want to look into... I'm going to keep doing probably coal power. But uh, we, we, we do have our coal plant up here. And, I mean, since we fixed the traffic and everything, this stuff's going really well. Um, so, yeah, we might as well just put it up here. There we go. That should fix our power for a while. And our water. You know, just because eventually we're going to have problems probably, we should just fix it up now. So we're going to get fresh water from over here, of course. Or attempt to, I should say. It doesn't matter where you get from, but, uh, hmm. Space occupied. There you go. Sorry, Hess. I know I just chopped up somebody's house, but it's like, eh, it's kind of important. There you go. Oh. Did it fill up again? Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh. Oh! We're good? Okay. What happens when you live like one foot away from the water? I guess it could get kind of wet at times. <laughs> That's cool because there's, there's like an actual physics with the water, which is pretty damn cool to be honest. So, Okay. So now that we have that, we need one more uh, drainage, of course, as well. So I'm going to kind of keep up on that. Uh, let's see here. We'll go over here. And I'm thinking like I should probably move them over here, to be honest. But for now, I'll just keep them over here. And then we'll get rid of them later on in life. There you go. Then we'll hook the pipe up. I did hook up this pipe, right? I, I know I got distracted there. Yeah, it looks all hooked up. And then let's just move this power over here. There you go. And there we go. Sorry for your power issue. There you go. Boom. Okay. That looks good. So, if we're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, if we're gonna, like, keep upgrading things here and getting uh, things bigger here, we're gonna have to fix some stuff over here, so, thinking, how am I gonna do this? I want to attach these guys to these guys eventually. I mean, things are going really well here. I don't want to clog up the commercial too much. Um, this whole area is pretty good right now. So, I probably need to cut this open and bring up a highway, say over here, really. So, let's see what I can do there. Uh, let's pause the game. Bring it to one, let's pause it. And let's bring our road tool up and our demolisher here. We're going to demolish this. Basically, we're going to we're gonna redo this whole area here, hopefully. And we're going to see what we can come up with. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is highway... And we're going to go to the normal ones here. And we're going to bring this around. And I guess we're going to do... We want to be a little flexible. So it's, you know... Kind of like coming over on this side, right? So... Too steep, huh? Damn. This is going to get expensive, I guess, because of the steepness here. There you go. Okay, that should work. And then we have to do the same thing, but we're going to go all the way back now. So, uh, yeah, let's just start going back. I actually like that. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Okay, so the highway, yeah, the highway is extended. I love my crazy-ass highway design. It goes up and under and all that fun stuff. But, at the same time, it worked. Okay. And then, unfortunately, this is probably going to end up being like, okay, the, you, we're not going to touch this. I mean, it's awesome. It works. But I think we just have to get rid of it. 
so we're just gonna legitimately get rid of it. But we're not gonna get rid of like you know, we're gonna we're gonna come up with a better idea here, basically. So we're gonna get rid of these guys. There we go, and then we're gonna hook up the pathway over here. So we gotta just find that road again that we've used a few times. Here we go, and we're gonna turn off the grid stuff. And then yeah, we'll we'll work from here. Let's try from here. As close as we can without getting mad at us. So we could probably go like this and then just get right to it and make sure it connects. That did not connect at all. What is going on here? Usually it connects, but there you go. So we have that one there, and then we're going to bring this all the way over here, I think, and just connect it over here, like right there. And there you go. So the pedestrians are back on, at least connected over here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to connect, we're going to do the new uh, highway, we're going to do the, uh, what do you call this, is that like a clover leaf or whatever? We're going to do that over here and hook these guys back up, so... We're going to go here. We're going to use the big one again. And yeah, that should do. Yeah, screw you. I don't want you in my way. Oh, whatever. Okay. I just realized hopefully these are all like the same on any way because that would be annoying. Let's do it like this. Yeah, it looks right. Okay. And then we're going to connect this part of the highway to you. And we'll do this and we'll put grids back on. There you go. And you, oh, and you to you. There you go. So they are connected back again. So this, this, this highway is all good. The only thing now is this isn't connected, of course. So if we're going to fix that, we need to do that. So I think the way we'll do that for now is I wonder if you want to do another one like that because it is kind of useful. I know it's a bit big, but uh, the style is kind of useful at times, right? So I'm thinking maybe I should try it again here. I know it's a, a pretty big initial cost, but um, it really isn't when you think about how much roading is there. And that way I can go down and left over time anyways. It just adds even more to our, our highway system in a sense. So. Let's go ahead and put this in here. There you go. And we'll get these guys hooked up again. We're really going kind of crazy on the highway. Now you can go and look for, you know, better intersections and blueprints and things like that if you feel like there's better ones out there, um, which is pretty cool. So keep that in mind. Uh, so what road was this anyway? So you can get an add-on that actually picks up like kind of like click and it just tells you the things. But uh, I think this might have been, I don't think this one has a sidewalk. It, it is six lane though, so maybe that is one of them, huh? Six lane road, decorative grass, no. Six lane road with a thingy mabopper on it. But there is no thingy mabopper on this one. Oh, bicycle lane. There it is. Okay, so. There we go. And we'll bring you over here somewhere. That's not happy with that. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't need to have to be happy. We'll fix this up. Damn it, I lost the bicycle lane. Oh, there you go. Now I'm thinking, hmm, this isn't playing fair, of course, as you can see here. I wonder if I should be attempting something else here, like this here, this here. This is probably not going to work, but I'm going to try something. This is going to probably require me to redo everything, like delete the entire road because I'm an idiot. But I'm going to try this. Uh, highway. Wow, that is so cool and so not right. Yeah, so I guess because it's not connected, it just didn't know what I just did there. I mean, it was so cool, but so broken. So what I'm thinking I can do here is I could probably go like standard road even, okay? So I'm going to go and connect these two like this. 
Um, actually, I probably should bring these out a bit. Let's do that. Okay, so we'll bring out... Sorry, we'll bring these guys out like this. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Let's do the ro uh, the proper highway and then bring these two out like this. There you go. And we're going to bring you in like this. We're going to connect you two like this. And then we're going to bring you like this. There you go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the roundabout right in here, I think. I hope it's close uh, far enough, but I'm not sure if it will. Roundabout, please. And we want the highway version. There you go. Oh! That kind of broke everything. <laughs> that was not what I wanted. It kind of probably could have gotten closer. Now here's the question. Can I repair this without having to redo everything? I think so. I think I can because I think it's still here. So... I think this has to go here, and then you use this off-ramp, I think, or on-ramp, whatever, and you bring it here. And I think that still exists, right? Yeah. Might be a little off-looking now. And then let's bring these guys down even further, then. And let's bring you up further, like this. And then we'll do something here, and then here. And then we'll try that again, but further up here. I, I, I know I'm screwing this up really bad. And that's kind of the idea, because I'm just having fun playing around with it. But, uh, there we go. That should fix it. And you got a working roundabout now. And then we should be able to go over here and turn this into whatever you want here. So let's do the upgrade. And... Oh, no, that's not the upgrade. There you go. This one right there. And, yeah, that should work. So this is a roundabout highway, which is fine, because it, it doesn't matter, because it just goes in a circle, right? So it just goes... And these guys can go in and out, and yeah, that should actually work. So let's fire up and see how it goes. So people are starting to use the highway, the new pathway is being used, of course, that's great. Hmm. And there are new highways being used. Excellent. Okay. Okay, it looks like with all our crazy mess and braking, we have fixed our highway issue here. And everything is running really well. Look at all the cars coming on here, though. Damn. Damn. But as long as they're flowing, it shouldn't really matter too much, so... There's probably going to be some weird bursts, too, at times, just because of what we did, but look at all the people walking. So our city has a lot, and I mean a lot, of foot traffic, which I think is a really good thing. So let's check our uh, vitals here. Um... So yeah, our pedestrians are walking here, which once again, this is not showing pedestrians. I don't really know how that works or why it doesn't work usually, but, uh, oh, there you go. I clicked it and it showed, oh, maybe you have to click certain parts of it. Oh, I see. So yeah, you can see our pedestrian like backbone here. So they come from all directions here. They walk here, they go through here. Excellent. Yeah. And this is like the main, um, oops. I don't know why I just clicked there. Or adjust the roads. You can do that. Maybe I don't want to do that, but interesting. But yeah. Awesome. Okay. And then our road system here. If we click it, you can see our road system's working good. There's the highway system now. Um, and you can click here and you can see everyone walking on here. That kind of makes sense. So this would be, you know, this, this is our, like... Literally our backbone here. People are coming in. So people come on on this one even. Can I click these ones? or no? Oh, because you're out of town. Okay. Yeah, so you can see here. So trucks. This is the truck. So you can see all the trucks here working really well. And then private vehicles are all the purple, which makes sense. So a lot of private vehicles coming in and out, which is interesting. And then what about over here? What do you see on this kind of road? So you see public transport and cargo. Of course, if we click over here, you'll really see the... the public transport there you go so it's going to all the homes over here 
So even with the road changes, it shouldn't affect uh, much or anything here just because it would have been pretty much the same routes, right? So that's good. Awesome. So yeah, in the end, it looks like we have saved the day and everything's going really well over here. And then basically what we're going to do is next time we'll work on a, a new basically residential area and then uh, we're going to extend commercial and things like that as well. I want to buy I want to buy this land, I think, or that was the idea, I want to buy this, but I also want to buy something over here eventually cuz I want to extend the, you know, the industrial area as well. I do worry that I'm going to overload it here, so we're going to have to be careful of that of course to a degree. I think I'm going to start emptying one of these. So this one can take a bit more. I think it's time to empty this. So when you empty this, what will happen is that you're going to send uh, over here. If we click his tracks, yeah, he's going to go to the incinerator. So if we send them all up here, they'll go to the incinerators and start getting rid of the trash. And then eventually we can even close those down or move them over here as they're kind of a buffer spot. But uh, I think we need to start working on that anyways. And then we can empty that out and we can do the, you know, do the same for the next one. So there you go. Awesome. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Um, our fire, I wonder how our fire thing is going here. It's hard to see right now, but uh, it looks like our land has recovered. So yeah, if we zoom in here, it looks like we don't have any problems anymore. So it looks like the land did recover. And we don't really have to worry. Awesome. That's really good. You see our pollution here. That's kind of crappy. And you can see our pollution literally runs all the way down here. Isn't that insane? <laughs> but anyways. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. We'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.